Hello and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 11 of Let's Play Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. In the previous episode, we uh, we, we we met Lady Pierpont. Pierpont? 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 Pierpont. Um, and she's, uh, yeah, she's amazing. But we found out that Lane, Lane from the gallery is involved. We all know it, so I'm going to go back to the gallery. And see. Oh, it's Moo. Here I was again at the crime scene. Yep. Inside the gallery, I could see lots of activity. Now they preparing for the reconstruction, no doubt. Oh, uh, yeah, reconstruction. Do we have anything? We wanted to talk to Lane, didn't we? Do you reckon he's in there? I mean, he was there, so maybe he's there for the reconstruction. Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now all we had to do was persuade Nave. Okay, we can do this. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <clears throat> One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. Though at the moment, it is kaput. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Mu. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Mu, now try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea what that is. Move over, Moo. Now, let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can I do? Ah, Monsieur Stobacht, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector. I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. Really? Yep, he's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stabat. It's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners, KGB, fraud. You are a fantasist, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Ah, Mu, a clever choice, but no cigar for you. Try the red. Mon Dieu! What is he doing? Is that some kind of contraption to figure out what blood that is? Oh, obviously, it's tomato sauce. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that went on a while, didn't it? <laughs> Let's speak to Lane. Lane. Stobart. Okay, we need to dive straight in. I don't care about the machine. Never. Provenance, straight in. I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For La Maledictio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. Okay. Uh, if we try and go, is he going to stop me? What do you think of Moo? Who? <laughs> the policeman with Nave. I assume he's another idiot. Why is that? 
I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. Right, come on. In fact, should we ask about the machine? What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. <laughs> All right, last one. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready to fire her up. Yes, I was just about to say the same thing. Do it. Is he going to work this time? What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I believe it was you who said, This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon Dieu. Oh, they're back at it. Can we just go? Let's see if we can go, see if he notices. Stubbard. Oh, no. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Clear. Fine. Right, come on, we need to distract I considered them making a run for it, but forcing Moo to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. So in that case, we need to fix this, don't we? I'm presuming. Can we just, uh, look at the machine? I just saw a thing that said machine there. There it is. It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Moo were tinkering with it. Okay. Well, let's just ask about the machine then. What can we do Inspector to help? Inspector Nave. Machine, please. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris' finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can. I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la di da to you, monsieur. Oh, yeah? Well, la di da to you back. Hmm. Whatever. You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. <laughs> what was that, Moo? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. All right. Have you been a detective long? Long enough, monsieur? You've solved a lot of crimes, I guess. More than you have had hot dinners. Well, I've had a lot of hot dinners, Inspector. Oh, yes? How many? What? <laughs> Precisely how many hot dinners have you had, Monsieur? I don't know. Uh, thousands? You prove my point for me, Monsieur. Precision and accuracy are everything. You truly are a unique and amazing man, Inspector Nave. Well, I'm glad you are impressed. All right, let's get <laughs> I really like that. I was sure I could get the machine to work. Yes, me too. If I could just get Nave out of the way. Um, right, can we let's see if we can use Lane as a distraction, perhaps? Can I ask you something else? If you must. If you must, anything? Mm, Nave again, perhaps? Is Nave a good detective, do you think? He's as good a detective as I am a dancer. Do you light on your feet, Lane? <laughs> Do I look like I am? No, that's um machine. What does it perhaps? do? Your guess is as good as mine. Right, I I mean should we ask about these? Is there these anything again. else you're not telling me, Mr. Lane? Get lost. Yeah, let's get lost. Let's not even ask about Okay, me. thanks. Alright, let's talk to Moo. Let's see if he, he can is, he is. Yeah, let's see if if we can distract him or something. Excuse me. Anything, Moo? Please, Monsieur. I'm a little busy. Okay, that doesn't help. Mm, let's have a look around here. See what we can find. Can we use this? Can we go in here now? 
Monsieur Stobart, please mm. remain within the main gallery. Okay. So we can't. What else was around here? We've looked at all this stuff. Maybe there's something different. That was where La Maledixio used to hang. Yeah. Did I have to say then? There was a, there was a used thing. Ah, plug. The plug was already pulled out of the socket. Right. Now let's go over here. Can we talk to him about it now? Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stobart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. <laughs> Look, I can see from here it's... Ah. <laughs> do you need assistance, sir? Very funny, more. One moment. Right, we need to look at it quick whilst that he's got gone. Rid of him. Now is my chance. Now is your chance to what? Oh, God. Off. I was on. going to have to figure that out quickly. On. Oh, God. What have I got to do? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just switching. Oh, I'll turn everything off. So that first one turns the first one off and the back one off. That one turns that one on and that one on. Does that do? That one turns that one off and that one off. So then just turn that one on. Bingo. Genius. Time to get the show on the road. That's very fancy. See, Mu? I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that you... Precisely. You knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snack. Go. Go on. We have no victim. Good God, Mu. Are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? No, sir. Just saying we need a body, sir. Ah. Yes, I see. You'll make a detective yet, Mu. I, of course, foresaw this, and I nominate you. Me? Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stobart? Well, I <laughs> don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Fell Tip Roof last summer. <laughs> hmm. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. Half truths again, monsieur. <laughs> Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Yeah. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. What did he look like? Did he have a moustache? Did he have a moustache? Oh, here's Nico. Ah, you have arrived at last. Where's he going? Please, make yourselves comfortable. We are just making some last-minute adjustments. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the asylum. Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and he's putting us up for an award. Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Madofsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy. Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Madovsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. 
Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do, but Nave doesn't. Quiet, please! How can I concentrate with all this racket going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we are... Well, we're, we're back. Um, do we have anything that looks like... Oh, maybe we can smell like him. I guess we can't just use it. Let's, let's use it on Father Simeon. I didn't Simeon. want to waste time talking about everything in my pocket. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's talk to Father Simeon anyway. Hello, Father. Mr. Stobart, will this take long? I'm not sure. Nave appears to be struggling with the machine. I'll pray for some divine intervention then. Yeah, if you think that'll help. The Lord is always listening, George. Okay, that's it. Nothing more. Hey, Nico. What's new? Not much since we last spoke, George. Okay, so that's that. So what do we need to get to make me look a little bit like Henri? Um, do we have anything? Whiskey? Hmm, I don't know. Let's talk to Lane, see if he says anything. Can I ask you something else? No. If you must. No. Right, no, it's all the same. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. Right, so he was lying down here. But I can't click on anything there. So I think I've got to look like him, I guess. Let's talk to Nave. See what he actually says. Now that the machine is fixed, can we talk? Okay, let's talk. Here we go, Henri. You got any idea how I can be more like Henri? You mean apart from being dead? Well, ideally, yeah. Monsieur Stebart, must I hold your hands at every turn? Figure it out, Mr. Insurance Assessor. Insurance as the deal. Can I just go away? Okay, let's go away. <laughs> Right, go away. What have we got? Inventory-wise. Not a lot. Maybe we can light a match. Oh, I want to... No, I want to light the match. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, I thought I could use a match and then it'd go black and then the black. I can draw a little goatee on me. Obviously, it's not that much adventure gaming going on. We go in here now. He's a bit distracted. The best place to find Henri's things was in his office. Yes. And we're in. Brilliant. Okay. What could we have here? Okay. Junk, junk, junk. Pipe. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. Um... Desk. The desk was covered with Henri's junk. Let's see and what... none of it was of any use. Oh, God. Maybe... I don't think we could leave the um, the gallery, could we? So I was thinking maybe... Because I'm assuming that the key is for this safe. Was it here? I can't remember what it was. Oh, no. I pulled that, didn't I? I thought it was in the desk. The desk was covered. I've just clicked on And that. none of None of it. Lava lamp... It was a lava lamp. Was I for or against? <laughs> or just indifferent? Uh, yeah. The phone was vintage. Anything else on here? Not really. Click on the goat. Oh, oh, man. The priest was right. Evil was abroad. <laughs> I, got, I got an Easter egg. That was cool. My model bus... Let's have a look out the window. The window looked out on the street. Outside, it was quiet. It was a battered sofa. I think maybe I have to go and get the... the key... to the, um... 
to this safe the CCTV thing here. camera watched over the gallery, though it no longer seemed to be recording. Yeah, okay. That was a waste of time. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, what did that say? Empty bottles. Empty bottles. That was it. Just empty bottles. Junk. Some of the stuff must have been collecting dust since the 70s. Hmm. Yeah, it was certainly nothing of any use. What else? Some of the stuff must have been... Junk, junk, junk. Pipe, pipe. Yeah, that's right. If I right the pipe was it. pretty cool. Nothing. Clock. It was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. Don't know. Oh, I clicked on that. Didn't mean to. Right click on the desk. The desk was covered with all, and none of. None of it was any use. Notice board. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. Nothing was of use. Right. Let's um. Let's pull this leaf again. I opened the compartment again. Yeah, but I don't have a key, do I? Can I get that? It was thing a statue of Henri. Hmm. Oh, maybe the, the face. On the head of the statue was a pair of Henri's glasses. Yeah, take them. Maybe, just maybe, the glasses would make me look like Henri. Take them. Excellent. Let's go back out here. Okay. Let's use them. I use them with myself. Let's use them with Nave. Did that work? I found these glasses of Henri's. Stole or found? <laughs> Never mind. That might just do it. Do we have to do a whole reenactment now? Come on, everyone. Into position. I want everyone to stand precisely where they were when the victim died. But I, I'm not gonna lie down dead. <laughs> this process is ridiculous. <laughs> I agree. God moves in mysterious ways, Father. Indeed. And the devil makes work for idle hands, Mr. Stobart. Shh. Stobart, you are supposed to be dead. Please be dead more quietly. I tried to tell Nave the truth about his bloodstain. Didn't he believe you? You're a man of God. His faith is in science, Mr. Stobart, not God. Okay. I guess I'm going to be dead and speak to him. Uh, we're going to do that in the, in the next episode. This has been a weird episode, let's face it. There's a lot of talking. Um, but yeah, I'm on the floor. There you go. If you've enjoyed today, please leave a like. And until next time, you have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. Whatever it is you're doing right now, take care.